Hello, welcome back to Otter Pop Culture, and today we're going to be going over the uh, seventh episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 4. The title of this episode is Club Kids. So, um, with the guest stars um, Suzanne Barsh and Rita Ora. So, so Latrice is back. Latrice has rightfully so came back. Unfortunately, she... She, well, I feel like she came back, she rightfully so came back with the lip sync, but I don't think that she, I'm still kind of surprised that she's still here, but she's back, and we, we're up, back down to, we're up to seven queens again. Um, not everybody's happy about it, Manila's ecstatic about it, she loves it. Um, and Valentina was a little upset because, um, Manila and... Monique or Monique uh, Monet were gonna send her home last see uh, last week, so she wasn't really happy about that. But it kind of was a deserved sent home. It, well, actually, it wasn't. It was not because it was she didn't do as well, but she still could have been she could have been saved. Um, but all that was different because they did such a great job. Um, so the maxi challenge is that they have to they have to um, do. They have to create, host, and make a and, and make a cocktail for their club. And they're each get a, and they each have their own teams, and they have their own little like divided rooms that they go to, um, that to make. So Latrice got to choose since she's the first since she came back, and I thought man, oh like she's gonna be super shady and choose all the weird people and choose all the right people for her, which is I feel like which is I felt like she did surprisingly she didn't she chose. She gave Monique and Monet their group, and then Latrice, Trinity, and her were a group, and um, uh, Naomi and Valentina were a group. So that looked good to me. Um, the next, so the, going down each room, so we're gonna start off with Valentina, Valentina and Naomi. So they decided to do like a disco theme, kind of like a uh, uh, Studio or uh, Fifty Four, kind of a, a theme for their club. Um, and they wanted to use, uh, Club 69, but because it was too cliche, they decided to do Club 96, and 96 was, the reason was because it was, it was because they had a, because it was like, we're so, it, I think Valentina said, we're too, we're so bougie, the club is so bougie that people face away from each other, like a 96, and that, and they, so they built it and everything, but it seemed like, it seemed like um, Valentina wasn't really in with it. She kind of she felt overwhelmed, which I honestly feel like she just didn't want to do all the job. She didn't want to do the whole building together because she was like concerned about her nails and everything. So obviously she wasn't looking to do anything um, like physical. So Naomi kind of did most of the job pretty much while Valentina kind of roamed around. Um, so, on top of that, so the thing, and also, so during the presentation of it, they looked sickening, they looked great, they looked, they had a very chic look, and their place looked decent. It was a little simple, a little simple for what it was, but it was cute. Um, I f don't remember them having a cocktail, so I wonder if that's why also they got docked for that. Um, so they didn't have a cocktail, from what I saw. Um, and then on top of that, they also kind of ignored the judges, the, the, the guest stars and the judges, like, who were there at the thing, um, at the club. And they just ignored, they just ignored them, you know, just left them alone. And just, but the funny thing about it I liked was that the Club 96 all over the place was really funny. So I thought that was really funny. The presentation was really good. Um... And then the next people were, which is, I'm going kind of backwards, but, um, they were, Valentina and, um, Naomi were second, and, um, uh, Monet and Monique were first. So, Monet and Monique did their theme, which is more of a space theme, and their club is called Black Hole, where anything goes. Um, and so I like theirs, because it was, it was obviously, and the, so did the judges love their stuff, because they were having a good time. It looks pretty fun. Um, the, they had, like, a baby in an incubator. They, or, ba sorry, baby alien in an incubator. They had the, 
the uh, Monet had like a weird like octopus fingers, like tent like uh, tentacle fingers kind of thing going on. Their looks were very spacey and alieny, um, and their cocktail was called Beam Me Up, which is just funny because they also call they also name their bartender um, Scotty, which is really funny because a reference to Star Trek. Um, and then they did a contest where they where the um, attendants attendees have to walk the belt, and which is I didn't really understand exactly where the belt was beginning and anything. I, I kind of thought it was going to be a leveled up thing, but due to um, budget, I'm sure it wasn't that that wasn't what it ended up being. Um, it was supposed to be a belt or Orion, so. That was that, and one of the things that I thought was really fun when they were getting stuff ready, which they both did, um, they both put an equal amount of effort into it, um, was that Monet, oh, so Monique was trying to, didn't, I guess she's never really painted before, so she's like, how do you paint these walls? And so Monet is like, you gotta go up and down, and she's like, that's weird, I usually see people go left and right, and Monet's like, that's wrong. She's like, says who? And Monet's like, says Jesus. And so they give her a look, like Monet gives her a weird look and then kind of turns around and literally goes left and right. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, so Latrice, Monet, or Tr Latrice, Manila, and Trinity were on a team together and they decided to do a, a bumblebee or honeybee, I, should, I think it's more honeybee, um, theme because they have more of, because they all have yellow and black outfits that Trinity pointed out, which I thought was kind of cool because so it benefits for everybody. And the club was called Club Hive. And honestly, it was the best looking club. Very chic, very organized. It was it, it was completely dived deep into the theme, which I thought was super cute. I love the honey coming down, like dripping down from like the, st the shelves and everything. I thought was kind of cool. The martini was a B-teeny. Um, and the, um, apparently, so Monet, Mon Mo, um, I'll save this for a later on, but, um, so Latrice was the beginning kind of host, which she did okay, I wasn't really impressed, like, she does good, as, I feel like, but the minute that everybody else starts talking, she got, just fades in the back, you know, she doesn't really, it's, everybody else is out there doing their thing, and they're combining with each other, but they didn't, well, I guess Manila didn't really combine with everybody, but she was, they still were talking and still doing, like, funny stuff. And Latrice would just always fall into the back instead of, like, bantering with them. Um, so, and then the contest they had to this one was the Strip Spelling Bee, where they had, uh, which was hosted by Trinity, which she did an amazing job. She just does a great job by herself. Um, and pretty much the um, pit crew pretty much were doing it, and they stripped down and everything, it was pretty hot, and then, at the very end of it, she sent, he, um, Manila releases the bees into the club, and everybody runs out, and everything, and it's super cute, um, so for the run, for a runaway look, or runaway, runway looks, it, the theme is Plastic Fantastic, um, so Trinity, or, the highlights I have right now are that Latrice just, oh my god, she looked amazing, and it's the best, look that she's ever done since day one. I actually think it's the best look she's ever done at all. At all. Like, honestly. Um, I felt like, and I, and with, she had like a blue latex suit, or latex outfit with a, with like this, with gigantic balls of, of like beads, plastic beads kind of thing. It might kind of remind me of like anal beads kind of thing going all the way down to the floor. Looked very cute. Uh, Manila had a fruit basket kind of like a, on her head with a little fruit basket th like theme on her body, her dress, which looks great. Um, and then Valentina was a downfall was a downfall because she had like a Barbie look, which is she had like these like plastic gloves that went all the way up to here. Um, and I felt and it looked I got the idea. I just didn't think that she just she didn't really embrace the whole thing and then the weird thing with a sash that said miss miss um venezuela and i thought it was kind of weird i thought the i which is funny because actually in the in the judges um part they had like 
uh, Versace pointed that out. She's like, didn't I see you wear something like that for your Snatch game? And she's like, no, 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 no. that was like, that was Miss Columbia. And it was just too much because it's exactly the same thing. Um, so in the end of it, though, they praised um, Trinity and Latrice for doing a great job, which is, I thought it was supposed to be, I thought it should have been, if anything. Um, I, uh... It either had two things. Either could it either should have been um, Monet and Ma and Monet and Monique should have won. They should have won. If not them, then um, Mon uh, probably Manila and Trinity. I feel like they were the biggest ones that stood out. Like the trace was good, but we felt I feel like we're giving it to her because she's doing she's doing well again. And I was like, well, she's now doing this. She's now up on par with everybody else now. Like she's not anything. Like I don't know. I'm I'm a little bitter because I feel like she's I feel like she's one. She shouldn't have been coming back. She shouldn't have came back. It feels like it's giving. It feels like it's giving a. It's pretty much giving her another chance. So if she wins through this, I'm gonna be so pissed because it's gonna be pretty much a tricksy thing to me. So hopefully she she goes home this week because I really feel like she doesn't add up to she doesn't she doesn't equal the same amount of everybody else and I get that this one look is a thing but she was con she was she was shitty throughout the whole time, um, so but in the end of it the tops were uh, Trinity and Latrice and the bottoms were Manila or Manila bottoms were Naomi and um, Valentina and Valentina. It works well because she didn't do all the work, and she also just it just wasn't really going well for them. Um, so, and everybody kind of knew it was like we're gonna send v uh, Valentina home. That's the thing because they want to keep Naomi, and I was glad they keep Naomi because she is everything. Um, and she also did all the work. So the lip sync was "You Spin Me Right Round," um, which was a weird song because it's the first time. It's one of the few times. They've seen them do like a male vocal song, but it kind of made no sense because it didn't really, it, it seemed like they didn't really know what to really do with it. Trinity had a trick of her sleeve, which was a fat suit with like low hanging boobs kind of thing that she did and try to spin them, which I was kind of hoping that she'd spin, actually spin them around like, um, like in the last All-Star where, um, uh, um, Vanilla Creme, she spent her, she spent her, um, little tassels. I felt like she needed, she was going to do that, but she didn't do, end up doing that. Latrice did a complete full, um, lip sync. It, I don't know. It, it was, it was okay, but it was, I wasn't, it wasn't the best lip sync, I would say. Um, but Latrice wins and sends Valentina home. So we're down, back down to six minus Latrice or minus Valentina, but now with Latrice. And I am curious to see what's gonna happen this time. I don't think, like, my my theory is that, um, my theory is that it's that Latrice was gonna sh do shitty this time because she wasn't, because she had a fire under her coming in, so she had to stay in. But now that she finally did it, she's gonna, her conceitedness is gonna come in again and she's gonna do, do shitty because I don't know, like, you can't really, she's not going to be able to team up with Manila all the time, and that's her downfall, is that she, can, she can't play well with other people anyway, so it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, so, or, or communicate well with the other people when it comes to, like, contests and maxi and the maxi challenges. So, in the comments, tell me what you thought of this episode. Who are you rooting for? Who are your top three right now now that we see it? I think that now that we don't have that we don't have uh, Valentina, it's, I think it's going to be Trinity, uh, Manila, and Naomi. I still think those, I still think Naomi and Trinity are still going to be the top. Like, Trinity still has just been consistent. Naomi has been pretty consistent. Um, and then Manila is just kicking ass now. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Um, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. And I'll see you guys next on the next episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 4.